Previously on This Day Forward. Benji Marshall is happy to be home four years after walking out of the West Tigers. I suppose if you want something, you've got to go and make it happen yourself. He's back at the club he loves. You know, you stand in a circle and you go one-on-one, -on -one, normally with a player similar size or similar positions. Honestly, Mahe Fanu is a beast. I don't ever want to go near that bloke. Probably never choose Mahe. I want to be in his team for sure. <laughs> It's been one of the tough ones I've had. Um, it's definitely uh, shaking the body up a bit, but it's uh, been good to have the two weeks off and refreshing up and back into it today. It's pretty hard actually because you because you train so hard for for eight weeks or so, and then all of a sudden you get this two weeks off of doing nothing. It's um, yeah, naturally you just want to you know relax and obviously festive season. There's a lot of food around, so it's pretty hard, especially with some boys, to resist that, but. I mean, it's important that you know, we get the two weeks off, but some, you know, we get recover and we freshen up. It's also important that we maintain, you know, what and we don't lose what we what we gained in the in the previous eight weeks. So I think it's find that balance of recovery and but also stay on top of your train. And, and so when we we hit the ground running after Christmas, and so I found that because I'm I'm so close, <laughs> I'll roll out of bed and then I literally I'm in here like I leave like literally ten two, and I'm here about. Seven minutes. So some of the boys who live out west and stuff have to leave extra early because they don't know if they're going to be on time or not. And so I think the likes of like Timmy Grant and those kind of boys who live in Penrith, Malachi, you know, they've got to leave at bloody four in the morning to get here on time. And if they have a good traffic run, then they're here an hour early. So they've been sitting around waiting for the boys to show up. Uh, today we're heading, uh, we've got some uh, community promotion. Uh, we're heading heading to Minto PCYC. Uh, hopefully it'll be a, be a good day. It was a pretty tough session today and uh, all the boys are a bit, a bit tired, but uh, it's, it's, it's been a good week. Uh, having the whole team down here, it's, it's my, my area where, where I was born and raised. Uh, yes, Brooksy, it's my, it's my area, mate. <laughs> I travelled with Brooksy. Uh, we we uh, drove around the Campbell Town area. We drove through Minto, sh showing him the area, uh, a few a few places that that, that I, I went to as a kid. Jeez, this road's changed. Pembroke Road. Is that the park? Yeah. Where's the grass? It's all trees. Oh well, back then there was grass. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. it is. It's been 20 years. Yeah, it was just nice to have him uh, learn a thing or two about about Campbell Town. Yeah, Play some music. What do you got? Look what's on his iPhone. Your way to beautiful girl. And why you'll never work. He <laughs> uh, had a variety of uh, music. Uh, wasn't wasn't too bad of a playlist. Had a few a few sing-alongs. Had a few laughs. No, no. <laughs> if everyone wants to know what Brooks he listens to, this is his music. Ooh. What you gonna do? You gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance by standing on the wall. Get your back up off the wall. Tell me. Yeah, a few, few, few questionable. Song. Have the music. I don't even know this song. When you're alone and you need a friend, you need 
Don't we? Uh, we're just trying to find a park. Pussy's taking his time. Here. <laughs> but we're here though. That's the main thing. Hey, on, mate. David. Hey, mate. Hey, how you going, mate? Really good. That's good, mate. If I yell out a number, you have to make that group with the kids. If there's any of these left over, you have to do push-ups. Right. I suppose the, the kids out there that, that came in uh, had the opportunity to, to have fun. Uh, I think it was about four of us. Oh, yeah, passed the ball there. around and I think we played a bit of touch and, yeah, just had a bit of fun. Three. Three, 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 you know, go out there and see these schools and see these kids in the community. He's out. No, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Living up a limo. Look, he's saying hello to you. And a photo. Can I have too? Thank you. That's okay, mate. Show him your microphone. Do you know who this is? No, show him to you. Do you know who that is? Hey, how are you going? Yeah, good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll get in. Jump in, guys. <laughs> Don't be shy. Okay, we met some bunch of kids out there, played a, played a bit of footy. Yeah, just enjoyed our time there. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, every time I seen someone like Benji, um, my face would light up and it's uh, always enjoying for myself to, to see the kids and, and put a smile on their face. So, Justin will do your welcome for the member committee. Sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. What's up? Great. How are you, mate? Mate. Mate, I've got something that I, uh, I can't afford to leave much longer, so I need to jump in that chair if I could, please. Take that later. That's fine. Sure. Yeah, right. I know what it's about. <laughs> Keep them going, Tom. JP? Hi, hey, mate. Uh, Brooke Kelly came in, obviously. We've been monitoring the process of player Moses Sully now for a good eight months and really specifically since August um, really set some key goals and KPIs that he had to, he had to meet. Uh, we've now provided Moses and his management with two breaches, hoping that a third wouldn't occur and I've been pushing back with the football department because obviously he's a talented in individual that we want to be a part of this club for a long time. But the reality is Kel's come in and he spoke to me about the fact that he breached again. Um, it's now becoming what I deem really disruptive from a cultural perspective within the playing group. And, you know, my role certainly we can't allow for standards that we've all adhered to and agreed to not to be met in the behaviours that you walk past or the behaviours that you accept and we're not going to accept those behaviours. So uh, long story short that I'm now going on the back of Kelly's recommendation, going to read his notes. Um, I'll get Ivan to come up because I want to have one further conversation with Ivan and then I'll uh, go to the chair and potentially go to a special board meeting. Hey, Marina. Thanks for calling me back. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, I'll get straight to the point. Um, I've just had a conversation with uh, Head of Footy, Kelly Egan, obviously, in regards to Moses Sully. Obviously, after our meeting last week, you're across where we're at with that. He actually has um, breached again. So as a consequence of that, my recommendation is for us to um, have a special board meeting, uh, given the timing this week, probably next Monday, um, and because the long weekend, exactly. And then I'll put forward a uh, resolution that needs to be uh, considered um, this week too. If 
but they've released one of their rising stars. Boom teenager Moses Suli has quit the West Tigers to join Canterbury effective immediately. The exciting centre winger was granted a release today to head to Belmore until the end of 2020. Just on the way to Triple M in the city to to do some stuff for them so they can uh, play it throughout the, the year on the radio. So, yeah, it should be good. First time I've ever changed clubs and I think for myself, I, I'm, I wouldn't want it any other way, to be honest. I'm, I've been accepted by all the boys. I'm, I'm enjoying my footy. I've, you know, a different style of play and a different, different type of training, different coach. Just a whole new outlook on, on footy has been pretty good for me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun and you know, I'm really excited for you know, what we can create this year, for, you know, in the, in the playing group. There's a certain there's a certain point, you know, where you just train, 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 and not play, and it and it gets and it gets a bit tough and that. But now I think we got one. Yeah, next week we actually go to Cairns to play play a trial, which is good. Everything we've done the preseason and, every, and and all the hard training we've done, it it's about time to you know show it on the field because in the end that's that's what we're there to do. Uh, just getting into the studios now. We're going underground. Let's see how we go. This is the right one. <laughs> Hope we'll start remembering where I am. Take a photo. Just remember where we park. Is that Triple M? Maybe. Hello, how are you? Um, this is Triple M, yeah? Yeah, we're just here to do some um, recordings for the Tigers. Which one are we going to? Nine, Today FM, Triple M. It's a few of my, um, my uh, greatest albums. Like a tiger. You might need these if you listen to me singing, but oh, I'm just making a rap, man. A rap video. Yeah. They call me Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh Reynolds here from the Tigers. Can they hear us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah. Don't have much in the rapping department, man. Huh? Got my um, radio headphones here, too. Yeah, mate. What do we got here? Do you me to do this one? Yeah. yeah. Be there to see our new look West Tigers take the field. This Friday night, we head to Campbelltown Sports Stadium for a massive clash with the Brisbane Broncos. Ooh, the Bulldogs. <laughs> Be at ANZ Stadium this Sunday as we take on the Bulldogs in a mouth-watering clash. This is one you don't want to miss. Round 12, look at that one. <laughs> How do we go? That's a wrap, man. So we flew into for Cairns for, for our first trial. Um, plenty of sort of uh, eager boys, obviously having a long pre-season, and just can't wait to, to get out there and, and play that first game. Well, we all came through to the airport. Uh, we got to Cairns as a team on Wednesday. Landing um, in the, the first day we got there is a, quite a shock with the, the heat and humidity. Um, some boys probably weren't used to it. Um, but uh, got into, stuck into training that next day, tried to get acclimatised um, to it. Very hot and, and very humid, but still, you know, the energy and enthusiasm for the boys was was evident. Been very hot. It's been very muggy. I used to live in Penrith, and Kansas is a lot hotter. The humidity is is very bad. We could see footy was around the corner, and a couple of days away, preseason uh, was almost gone. Bro, it's so high, it's, it's real hot. Walking around Cairns is, again, in this weather is very, you're just sweating all the time. Yeah, you just find yourself just sweating. Um, this first time I've actually seen a bat, and there's heaps of them. Oh. 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 
No, we're off to Cannes Central shopping centre to watch uh, my movie, Black Panther. Let's get out of the hot, muggy air here, the weather. Uh, the aircon's really good in the shopping mall. We're here at our second day at Cairns. It's very hot. Uh, we finished training this morning. We finished gym at lunchtime. Now we've got a bit of time off, so we're going to watch Black Panther. It just came out. The boys are excited. It's too hot, and uh, we want to rest up as much as we can. We've got Captain John tomorrow. Have some time off and enjoy the boys' company without stressing out about training or sand dunes or just enjoy it. I'm hoping to see the Winter Soldier on it. He's frozen in Wakanda at the moment. Now, I'm a big Marvel fan. I've uh, watched this since Iron Man first came out in 2007 or 8. Um, and this is going to lead up to Infinity War, so keen ass. I've been waiting for this movie for ages. BT knows all the scoops and all the, the behind the scenes stuff. It's hot up here, it's, um, you know, it's hard to breathe outside, but uh, it was good to get our first training session underway. Indoors, aircon, that's, that's the way to go. <laughs> Yeah, so at the end of every Marvel movie, Marvel fans all know that there's always a uh, yeah, credit end post credit scene. So at the end of the movie, uh, David Nofaluma hid in the curtain. I don't know how long he was in there for the whole post credit scene. The when all the credits finished, we all walked out of the movies and he got Josh Alloa really good. Mm. 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 It's going to be a laugh. Sure, it's going to be a laugh. Has to be. Hey, Lee. Yeah, I'm just down here at the restaurant, if you want to come down. Yeah, come down now. We'll have a bite to eat, and then uh, we'll head off to the game. So that's actually our uh, Lee Hadjipatelis, principal of Brydens, who for the first time, I think, in our partnership, we've actually I invited away. I thought it was really important as we're in mid-negotiations around extending Brydens as our major partner. I think it's going to be really good for him to spend some time with the boys and the boys to get to know him. And it's part of you know that collaborative relationship building process. How have you found it? Um, interesting, a bit different to what I expected. You don't appreciate how much is involved and how much goes into the preparation of an NRL team. Um, you know, with all the coaching staff, the support, the physio, trainers and the like. I didn't appreciate how little you contribute to <laughs> the game day experience as a representative of the executive. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, no, but uh, it's a huge operation. I mean, people turn up and it's just appreciate the NRL team running onto the field, but you don't see what goes on behind. So it's a bit of an eye-opener for me, one I'm very appreciative of. So one of the things that while we brought you away here is obviously, you know, you're valued as a major partner and extremely valued with the contribution you give not only over the last... How long have you been with, Bright, with West Tigers now? Uh, this is our third year third as major. Third as major, but you were and before that as well. two years before on yeah. the sternum, that's right. So this is year five yep. heading into. Mm -hmm. We're in discussions at the moment to extend that out, hopefully another three, which we'll get to a conclusion. Well, discussions are a very generous way of putting it. I mean, arguments or arguments, deliberations. Debates. Del <laughs> deliberations, that's right, yeah. It's a very negotiations. generous way. That's right, yeah. We're in negotiations yeah. to get it yeah, to a further three, which hopefully we can resolve in the uh, positively for all parties. I would hope so. In the next week. It's always interesting because I think it's such a competitive world today, competition for sponsorship in sport with the increase in all the different... I think yes. There's something like 60% more teams from 10 years ago in a pretty saturated market. What do you look for as a major partner when aligning yourself? And obviously there's a passion here first and foremost, yep. which is great. But secondly, you know, as a, as a major partner, that's a significant contribution, huge contribution. Yep. And without 
contributions like that, clubs like us don't right. exist, and that's just fact. Our, our commitment in, in any sporting venture is on two levels. There's a personal emotional attachment, and then there's a commercial reality that, that sure. intervenes as well. The personal and emotional is well documented. I've been a West Tigers fan since the inception in 2000, and Balmain supported before that. So for over 30 years, I've been supporting this club. But putting that aside, I mean, I could still be an enormous fan of the club without being the major partner. I don't need to make that sort of commitment. So the commercial reality is that when you're making a commitment of the extent that we have made, you really need to say, have some sort of return. There's got to be that, that commercial understanding between us and the club. There's got to be a synergy. So I want it to be, and how it's developing is that when people think of West Tigers, they think of Bryden's lawyers. And if you think, OK, well, I'm going to go watch a game of footy on the weekend, it'll be the West Tigers. But if you're going to be buying or selling a house or if you need a lawyer for whatever reason, it's going to be Bryden's lawyers. It becomes that automatic. So that's what we want. But that's how we want to ingratiate ourselves, become generational lawyers for all the West Tigers fans. We, uh, bus is here in five minutes, so you finished? We're uh, good I'm to go. done, yeah. Am I driving that bus or...? <laughs> Have no. I got any logos, any brides sort of thing on the bus, anything on the outside? No. Plastered all, all over the side, all skinned on the side. Did they recognise it up in your cans? Yeah, very much so. <laughs> Too good. Grab the hat and we're gone. Um, come the game day, um, we obviously very hot, uh, late game, uh, it was a, a long day. Boys were really pumped up in the warm up, great energy, a lot of talk and that sort of got stifled and uh, stopped with the, uh, the blackout. We went out and warmed up and, and then oh, I think all the boys were a bit shocked that the uh, power actually went out. That, uh, that threw a bit of a spanner in the works. We just felt all the power turn off, all the, all the lights in that turned off. And Joshy Reynolds spoke about um, just how, you know, how um, pumped he was to, to be playing his first game with the boys and literally as he started speaking and, and, and getting a bit emotional, the, the lights went out. At first we just thought of the coaches flicking out the lights for effect for, for Josh's uh, speech but after a couple of seconds we realised it wasn't just that and um, we could hear the crowd um, going and how are and then I guess sweating around on the field for a little bit was was a bit, you know, was a bit weird and unusual. 10,000 people wondering what to do. And then after about half an hour, I was doubting whether we'd even get on. So there's a few frustrated boys thinking, you know, we'll come all this way and um, we're so pumped up to play and uh, might not even get a game. Oh, I think landing at one of the main um, sources here. And Crikey! Oh, let's get in, let's get in. We're um, just enjoying each other's company on the field, so. Now nah, I've actually lost the buzz a little bit, so hopefully I can buzz up before the game starts. Big five. Read the, the, script. Five. Read the script. Yeah. Someone hasn't paid the bills, mate. Someone in Kansas has not paid the bills. Yeah, first trial, obviously, um, you know, everyone gets a run, um, you know, all the young boys um, get a taste of sort of that first grade experience, but particularly those guys who haven't played any first grade, uh, and it's good to give those guys a run. And I thought, you know, we, we started that first trial quite well. Um, both sides were pretty scrappy, as you'd imagine, you know, hot conditions, uh, first trial. Get up, Jake, get up, Jake. Nice, Rabbi. I'm a really bad spectator. I'm, I'm very bad, I'm very vocal. Get him off! Go, G, complete. Who's with him? Who's with him? Win that, win that, Q, win that. Yes, good boy. Oh, yeah. The... yeah, there you go, bro. Oh, three, short side, go, go, go. Yes! I suppose it's just passionate. I want to see our team do really well. I want to see the young players in our team you know, have fun and enjoy their football. I thought they went really well. The first 20 was, was really good. We, um, we did what we, what we wanted to start, what we wanted to do. Disappointing how we finish. Hopefully the boys will come out and play even better. Roll it in now. Roll it in. Ooh, why not, why not? Oh, man. What a gun. Nice to have that. Shower? I don't know. Stay warm yeah, uh, a lot of rusty people, including myself. Um, you know, even the other team met a lot of um, balls in the ground in there. But I guess that's what trials are all for. Um, I guess that's where you learn and 
you kind of get back into the groove of playing footy again, so. I think we executed some of the things that um, we wanted to. We obviously weren't as um, good in some areas um, as we would have liked. But I learned a lot in that trial and um, you know, I guess first time getting your body back into game awareness and that, so yeah. Uh, plenty of uh, positives that, that we took out of that first trial and uh, plenty of things to work on going forward. Next time on This Day Forward. The Campbelltown trial is really good, good to get um, sort of a home game. We were faced with our challenges. I've got some good news. I'm in the uh, round one team. It's game day, you got to enjoy it. Anything could happen, might even get a few tears, man. <laughs>